So coming up this weekend, we have a very, very late notice addition to the card. It's going to be Damon Blackshear taking on Jose Johnson. Damon Blackshear was meant to take on Brady Highstand, but Brady Highstand pulled out due to a staph infection. And now Jose Johnson has stepped in on less than one week's notice to take on Damon Blackshear. And it is worth noting that Jose Johnson was briefly signed to the UFC, but I believe he actually got released. And now he's been re-signed. I'm not too sure why he was released exactly. But he did win on Dana White's contender series. And then he pulled out of two fights that he was booked for after that. But it seems like maybe he was released because the UFC maybe just didn't want someone that was pulling out of fights. I don't really know the full details. But he's been re-signed. He's back. He's taken on Damon Blackshear on short notice. And it is worth noting that it's short notice because for Jose Johnson... He is big for the weight class. You know, Jose Johnson is six foot tall, 435 pounds. He's not a small bantamweight, and he's going to have to try and make that weight on very short notice. I'm hoping that he was in some sort of camp or was just in fight ready shape so he can make that weight on time. But for this matchup, though, it's a very bad stylistic matchup for Jose Johnson to take. I do understand that he's taking it on short notice, but Damon Blackshear is a wrestler and a grappler, and Jose Johnson throughout his whole career has struggled against wrestlers and grapplers. It is worth noting though that in his last fight against Jack Cartwright, his wrestling and his grappling looked much, much improved from what it has in the past. But Jose Johnson, if you do go through his whole career, especially his Dana White's Contender Series career, because he did lose on one Dana White's Contender Series fight and one on one Dana White's Contender Series fight. Against Ronnie Lawrence, he got taken down 12 times. And against Jack Cartwright, he got taken down six times. Now, against Jack Cartwright, he was able to get a few reversals and have control time of his own, even got his own takedown, and did actually have a decent amount of success in the grappling. But against Ronnie Lawrence, it was just Ronnie Lawrence getting takedown after takedown after takedown and it has kind of been the story of Jose Johnson's whole career really and he has struggled with wrestlers in the past <clears throat> sorry guys against Mo Miller Mo Miller was having a lot of success in that fight and Jose Johnson throws up a triangle choke in the second round and gets the submission and then Jack Cartwright took him down six times Mano Martinez KO'd him who ended up being in the UFC and where I'm kind of getting to here is that Jose Johnson throughout his whole career has actually fought some really really good fighters you know he was meant to fight Terence Mitchell who's now in the UFC he beat Pipe Vargas who's a great fighter another great fighter that he's fought way back in 2018 is Levi Moles who I believe is now retired but is a very very good fighter you know he's fought Dre Miley who's now in Bellator and he's fought Dulani Perry who's a good prospect at the time I mean he has got a lot of good experience against good opponents but it is worth noting that Jose Johnson man he's a striker and he doesn't deal well with wrestlers. And that is what Damon Blackshear is going to try and do. Because Damon Blackshear is going to go out there. And he's going to try and take down Jose Johnson. He's going to try and take down Jose Johnson early and often. But on the feet, I think Jose Johnson is going to be at a pretty decent striking advantage. He's very, very good on the feet. He's a very good Muay Thai striker. He's got a ton of power. If you do look at his record, he's got seven KOs in the first round. Every knockout that he's got... He has got in the first round. He does have a couple of submissions, but all of his losses are by submission in the first round or by um, decision as well. But the point is, Johnson, he doesn't like fights to go very long. He either loses in the first round or he wins in the first round or he goes to decision, basically, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. But I do think in this matchup, we saw Damon Blackshear be able to kind of out-wrestle and out-grapple Luan Lacerda, who was a very, very good black belt, was a very long-time training partner of Jose Aldo. If you look at Luan Lacerda's previous fights in the LFA, he's got Jose Aldo in his corner. And um, Damon Blackshear went out there, kind of um, beat the the BJJ nerd, I guess. That is Luan Lacerda, and it was able to knock him out with ground and pound, really. But in this matchup, though, it is a good stylistic matchup for Blackshear. Blackshear isn't afraid of short notice fights because he did take on Yusuf Zalal and was having a lot of success in that fight until he gassed out in the third round. And if he didn't take that fight on short notice and had a full camp, he probably wouldn't have gassed out and probably would have won the fight. But I'm going to go with Damon Blackshear to win. This is a very bad stylistic matchup for him. But I'm so happy that Jose Johnson's back because I was a little bit sad that they did release him after he took on, was booked against Vince Morales and Garrett Armfield and then pulled out due to the injury. But he's had surgery hopefully he's all good to go i'm looking forward to jose johnson in the ufc i think he's a great re-signing to the ufc he's a guy that definitely does deserve the opportunity he was on dana white's contender series beats a 10 and 0 fighter johnson's a great fighter he's a fantastic striker got crazy power on the feet but in this matchup i do think it's a good stylistic matchup for damon blackshear so i'm going to go with damon blackshear to win by submission or decision and although a lot of jose johnson's losses are early in the first round 
I think it's going to be like a second or third round finish for Black Sheet if he does finish or a decision. I think Johnson's going to be live for a KO early. He will be live for a KO as long as the fight's on the feet because he is the better striker. This is a fight you should look forward to. It's going to be fun to watch. But I'm going to go Damon Blackshear to win this fight using his wrestling and his grappling.